Down low Cole, he wants to go right at the beat. And instead it was Adrian who got a piece of it. He had 44 block shots a year ago. And Craig Austry's in. With the transfer of Marcus Johnson, we're going to see a lot of three guard sets for the Huskies this year. Adrian off the inbound. Small Morgan State backcourt. Kately rejected by Adrian. The jumper by Bolden, no good. Kelly lost the rebound. There's Adrian with another block shot. Wiggins, Price, and Austria, the guards in this lineup. Very bad defensive rotation that time. Not only did they lose him, they never found him. Before, Price played the free safety that time. You know, the thing is, is that they just keep attacking, keep attacking, and eventually they just wear you down. 119 blocks are very impressive, but the six rebounds per game, not so impressive. Right. Caitlin, defended by Kelly. Spins on and has a shot blocked by Adrian. UConn scored 37 points in the first half. Down low, Adrian. That's a killer. Great feed from Mr. Kelly. Vermont, UCLA, at Poly Pavilion. You played them early in the season. You were veteran guys. They weren't. Am I right there? Was that a good time to play UCLA? But he's done a good job of keeping them all together. And as I said, they're unselfish. And now they're starting to play up to their capabilities and send it in. Wiggins with the great look inside to Adrian for his eighth and ninth point. Oh my. <laughs> I it just, just figured went like East Central. I thought it was a high school. Just figured everybody knew that. Adrian lays it up and in. McMillan with a miss. The running Bulldogs. Good offensive rebound. Thomas Sanders, but the first of what could be a number of blocks for the Huskies tonight. Well, you know, they were 9 to 21 last year. Jeff Adrian knocks down the long two. He's worked on extending the range on that jump shot. The huddle. They were up 14 to nothing, but Coach Scruggs said, as Adrian shows a nice jump hook, Coach Scruggs said, you bound. Just so much bigger than anybody else on the floor. Look at Adrian run the floor. Beating him down in transition now. He was supposed to do over these 14 days before they play Liberty, they'll be back on track. Although they got the injuries, Dick, as you know, that's the problem. Yeah, well, Meeks and Jasper out. Uh, you certainly, that's a major. And A.J. Price, the only offense so far for UConn. He's on the bench. Craig Austria is into the game now for the Huskies. Adrian again. And Jeff, this time it goes down. Jeff Adrian likes the big moment. He likes the big game. He's very capable in a post situation. This is Price defended by Lynn in the battle of point guards. Quickly inside to Adrian. They want to get him going early. Yeah, they really do really be a factor here tonight. Edwards fronted McMillan and stole the entry pass. Here's Dyson on the open floor where he's so effective. Rebound, Adrian flat-footed. And the foul. Well, Ron, Jeff Adrian already tonight has equaled his rebounding total in the first meeting with Gardner Webb. Well, he's really getting after it early in this ball game. Great penetrating move by Dyson. Can't finish it off. Never assume it will just go in. And there's Adrian. He does so much of his work, Bob, in and around the paint area. Yeah, I tell you what, it's a, a good problem to have, but right. these guys probably a little tired from all those games. Adrian with a strong move inside. He's got seven points. While on the seat of his pants, got a hand on it. Adrian, that one's not goaltending. The paint, take advantage with the height. Shot clock down to five. Adrian on the low block spins and fires. He's got nine points and five rebounds. When you're a freshman, you know, and you get that first one to go. Austria down low. Adrian spins one way, goes the other. To beat with the putback. Adrian with an offensive board. Jeff Adrian has 11 first half points here tonight rebounding points in the paint for the Huskies Adrian down low with a little jump hook so he's got 13 points Sanders and it's taken away by Adrian that block of the night for McMillan who's ninth in the Atlantic Sun in block shots he's got eight for the season Adrian with the fade he's got 15 so Adrian who was his eighth three-pointer of the year it's a gritty Gardner Webb team though they just keep coming at you they Giving up a lot inside, but it's been Adrian at the feet. No answer for these big guys here tonight. And sets up Wiggins for the right side jumper. Another rebound by Fabit. Another rebound by Adrian. <laughs> and a 24 points. Florida AM now on a 5-0 run, and Drew Calhoun has called back-to-back -back timeouts. Adrian inside and the foul. Picking up too much height. UConn now has 11 block shots, and Florida AM has eight field goals. Adrian lays it up and in. That's a really impressive line and again continues to get better at both ends of the floor as does Adrian who continues to 
be offensive minded. You know, this is the fifth game of a stretch of seven straight games that they play away from home. Now, some of those are neutral site games at a tournament in Madison, Wisconsin. Yeah, Adrian. Adrian with the shot, and he has his second straight double double. Nice driving basket in for AM. Ballard Stay with it as well as Ballard finishes that. And out. Adrian runs the floor ahead of everyone, but missed the shot. Are they going to call goaltending? And Wiggins or make that uh, Dyson with the no look pass to Robinson tipped up once Adrian gets it back and another two for the junior from Brookline Mass. For the Mandelbaum who just came in to take Edwards place block that shot. Good luck. And another open perimeter shot Austria the miss with Jeff Adrian's there. Robert Sacri in all likelihood is coming in for day. This game might be a little bit too much for him. Adrian fouled. Whenever you spin, you really have to watch out. And just a little spin move to try to take it into the middle and take an advantage of. And a terrific How about strong move. move. How about the pass, too? Oh. Delightful. West Coast Conference last year, average nine points per game. He'll do better than that this year. The beat left open at the foul line. Adrian, good position. And the score. That's his game. Chase. Bang and work. Been out once in a while yeah. to have some fun. I appreciate it. You feed him, get a good parking place. Another block. Adrian with the block shot. Of since. The lead is now five. Austri gets a step on his man Janning. Download. Great feed. Great finish. Foul on Adako, his first nine in the team, and Adrian with a chance for a three-point play. Wiggins finds him, strong finish, and the foul. That's a big, big basket for the UConn Huskies. Well, UConn would certainly like to... Channing, uh, guarded by Dyson, gets a step on him, and a weak side block by Adrian, the... Looking inside for Adrian. They can't get it to him. Now they get it to him on the low block. And he goes right around Carl Anderson. And the foul. <laughs> wow. He saved some of that energy from practice yesterday and brought it with him today. 23 11. Wow. Turnover number eight for the Bobcats. Wiggins, the trailer to Adrian. Up with the left hand that time. Shim Adrian. Magnificent state of the art TD Bank North Center. Teams are number one in their conferences in rebounding margin. Down low, Adrian. Spins. Pretty movement right around Brooklyn. He missed the first several games this year with a, uh, a leg injury. Jeff Adrian with a couple more inside. And the rebound kept alive by Zajac. Back to Demario Anderson in eight minutes to get there. Brian Andre, who averages 13 a game, their center is 0 for 2 in this game. Inside, Curtis Kelly found Adrian. Price in the lane. Adrian has his shot blocked, but the putback is good in the foul. Headlock candidate for that Heisman. Sukobi with the miss. Boy, Wiggins can push it, can he? Oh, nice look inside. Price to Adrian and the foul. I like the interchanging of the guards right here. Wiggins chases down the rebound on a hop. Quickly Robinson right in front of us. Underneath the Adrian that time, UConn just beat me down the floor. Forwards combining a T championship in 1988. Wiggins catch and shoot. Rebound Jeff Adrian. And Adrian with the putback, and he has yet another double-double his fifth of the year. By Maine, Jim Calhoun will be 11-0 against his former pupils. Carl Hobbs, I tell you, did a great job at George Washington. They've been in the tournament. Not as good this year as they have been. Games I've seen them play this year. They don't drive into traffic as much as they did last year. Adrian with the turn. It's like an NBA game these last couple of possessions. Not a, not a lot of stops. You score, we score. Tempo has to favor UConn, doesn't it? No question. No question. It's too fast a pace, in my opinion, for UCF. Jeff Adrian finishes with the offensive board, which UConn comes at you in waves and waves. Waves and more waves. Jeff Adrian over Stanley Billings. UCF can't get the back door, so Dyson and UConn on the run. Adrian underneath. That's why they want him to stay down low. Three. UConn is streaky from three. They can hit some, but they're not consistent. 
down to Adrian, who hits it with two defenders right in his face. He UConn up six. First road game of the year for UConn, and they got a tough one here. Jeff Adrian, however, has been tough on the low post. That's now third. Hey, Gonzalez says of guards, he's a momentum changer. Now they get the ball down low. Nicely done by Jeremy Hazel from the Bronx, New York. Played last year at Patterson School in North Carolina. He has seven early points. Right back the other way. Looking to launch at all times. Garcia has rudely rejected. That was Adrian that sent it back. Leading score not only for Seton Hall, but in the Big East, 20 and a half points a game. Only four tonight. Adrian. Great move to the basket. Nine lead changes in the first half. Down low. And the shot is up and down quickly, so they come out with a set play to Adrian. Adrian sent back by the beat. And their defense struggling so far in this game on pace to give up a buck 20. Nice move inside by Jeff Adrian. That's his first basket. Defenses from zone to man to zone, but they're in right now. I've really forced them to think about things. Uh, Notre Dame three on two, faking behind the back pass oh, is Dyson, sweet. and then he hits Adrian anyway for the score. A man on McElarney and Dyson did a much better job of anticipating. Adrian powerful inside. Second team All Big East a year ago. And at this point in time, what he's got to do, he's got to get easier baskets, run the floor. Adrian, no, but the second time he got it, and UConn is down only one. Almost turnover. Adrian got it. First lead for UConn tonight. Adrian's going to the foul line as well. On the high screen, that's what you need. Price missed. And then Price somehow got it to Adrian down low as he was falling out of bounds. And the quick shot may help them. Adrian in the post, working around Burrell, nice fadeaway. Just within his tap, but then, and some, he's getting to him. Adrian on the top. Rebounds it. UConn pushing, here's Craig Ostry. Dishes to Adrian for the flush. Fade away, kicked up a notch. The average better than 82 per game. And Adrian attacks and scores. And again, Norm Roberts says we have to talk to Johns. He's at five out of eight from the floor. And a finish for Adrian with an exclamation point. <laughs> and what he does in intercept, he makes he, he alters. Adrian works on that 17-footer, steps up and pops it in. Slipped out of Burrell's hands. Goes back up and gets rejected again. Shovels it into Adrian. And a little up for Jeff Adrian. And it's 74-57 right now for Connecticut. Robinson finds Kelly, who finds Adrian for another flush. Textbook attack of the zone press. The ball didn't hit the floor. Bam, bam, slam. Points all of it here in the second half for St. John's. No look pass inside to Adrian and one. Ash, regardless of position. Now UConn reeling a little bit in the opening minutes. Here's Adrian, floats it up there and rolls it in. A basket the Huskies desperately needed. Look at Hibbert out on Price, the big man guarding the guard. Here's Adrian to get that one to go. That hook in either direction is pretty good with both hands, Hibbert, and a nice follow. Adrian hooks himself for two. Good solid move of postseason. They need a big time win to change their perception of themselves. They're in this one right now. Adrian into the lane, rolls it, gets it. Difficult shot for Jeff Adrian, but that's a big body. The 6'7 junior for two. They keep battling back today. Summers stops, rejected. Knocked right back in his face by Adrian, cradling the rebound. The Huskies on the offensive attack. Great pass for Adrian to stuff it down. And it looks like Georgetown is going to take a timeout. And they should. That is a rim run and a flat out better job by Connecticut to beat him up the floor. The Huskies are fired up.
They have the number eight team in the country on their heels right now. Adrian, and it's a three on two. Price dishing for Dyson, and he went here, but got it back. Oh, how about the stop on the other end of the court by Seth? And a nice job to get the lay-in, and UConn just keeps on coming at you. Adrian with 16. Hustle and toughness. Adrian with a tough catch up against Tibbert. Oh, that's a difficult shot for Jeff Adrian having. Williams knocked it away from McDermott. Lead pass to Adrian right on the fingertips. Good decision. He's a big, strong kid. Thank you back in. There's his CR stat track. The shooting percentages. That Adrian basket will help. Dyson starts to go. Lobs it down low. Wiggins to Adrian. Ball fake. Another. He was going to finish it, and somehow that ball rimmed right out. I know that was a problem for you when you play to keep your hand off the rim, right? Oh, a constant challenge. Adrian using the left hand. He's got eight. He's because UConn has missed five of the six. McDermott with the offensive rebound, and Adrian with the block this year, but not getting a lot of looks. Right there, he gets one. And Fabit may have had a piece of that one. It was either Fabit or Adrian. Here's Wiggins to the trailer, Adrian. Adrian's now got 10, similar look to last year. Offensive rebound, Birch blocked by Adrian. His zone's been so effective. Adrian at the foul line, threads the defense, which goes back to 1928. The visiting team is going to win. Adrian with the flush. That's it. McNeil was the defensive player of the year in the Big East last season. Pass inside, Adrian just beats the shot clock. Five in a row, but now they've lost. Three of their last four, all three in the Big East. Inside, Adrian. And all on the road. And Tom Crane has seen it up, and he wants to stop it right here. Timeout, Marquette. A 7 1 UConn lead. He sets the pick. Down low, Adrian. Turns, faces Hayward. No double team. Here comes the double team. Shoots anyway. Something positive happened in this last minute 55. Down low, Barrow spins. It's blocked by Adrian. He's ninth in the Big East in that category. Making uh, making life difficult for the quick guards. Adrian with the foul line jumper. Elbow didn't bother by that one, did it? <laughs> that uh, a little wisdom in there. And a lot of stamina by the coach. Inside to Adrian. Five. Five points for Risa and you game tied at seven. And here comes the crowd early in tonight's game. Beautiful baby hook in the baseline by Jeff Adrian. Boy, he showed some patience there, didn't he? And leap oh my God! He was two Robinson. feet above the rim. <laughs> Here's Jeff Adrian, rolls it in. Good quick down offense by UConn. Ball. Play on. Here's Adrian down low against Williamson. Right hook, beautiful play on the baseline. Only classic. Right at the beginning of November, and didn't look very good at it defending the three. And that, that seems like many years ago, the way Cincinnati's been playing as of late. Now, UConn on a bit of a run has got it to eight. White, this is Lance Stemmler who uh, gives a wave by. Nice dish underneath. And uh, Price finds Adrian. What Price game of the year for both teams. Good measuring stick for both. And there's Adrian with a spin move. Austria has it, guarded by Ratliff. Back to Adrian. Beauty. That's about his range right there. Any further out? Here's Price. Nice pass. Beautiful. And where did it go? Right inside to Adrian. Stemler has a hard time with him. The game, his team is playing well. A nice comfort zone. And it's not the time to get a technical. Yeah. Well, who would have noticed what Calhoun was doing if Higgins couldn't blow the whistle? Run leading by seven and looking to add to it. Again, playing without two of their key players, including leading scorer Jerome Dyson. Jeff Adrian to the left hand. A little tired. Stanley Robinson huffing and puffing, and he has been working his tail off. And Louisville's taking a hit right now, Sean, and yet able to hang only seven. Right now nine. Beautiful pass by Price to Adrian, and he was fouled. Defensive skills, but not in that particular regard. Here's Adrian back in, and he finally gets it to fall. Using uh, 280 pounds nicely. There's a nice move off the screen, and they hadn't really even been looking for the shot. There's Young, rejected by Adrian. Second block for him. Here's Price. UConn can get within two. 
Nice. Oh, yeah. What was that, Vern? A two-handed catch. Right. Two-handed put down. A little different than the two plays that got him benched earlier. And it ignites the crowd as Jamie Dixon calls timeout. UConn back up by one. Young muscles his way in. Getting increased playing time in the last week or so. In part because of here's Adrian in the lane. It's tough man to man the entire ball game. Jumper. Oh my! That ball. It, yep. It, Timeout Pittsburgh, and that is what Jamie Dixon is arguing right now. Good elevation. Watch the ball. If any portion of the ball is in the cylinder, you touch it. Adrian guarded by Young. No double team. Adrian fall away jumper is good. Three to keep it alive for the Huskies. Trying to force the pace inside a little bit. The beat went up for the rebound, didn't get, but the follow is up and good by Adrian. Gora still and Jerome Dyson. Doug Wiggins is back after missing a couple of games. Adrian pops that one in for two. There have been times where their, their attack of the zone is 2001. Guys. Three moments ago, and Adrian with a two underneath on a tough angle right underneath the basket. That speaks to the toughness. I think that stems from both coaches. How good both of the programs have been. Adrian again gets the touch. It rolls in. He has 10. Back to beat with another deflection. Now it's all blue as Adrian's ahead of everyone for the stuff. And Flynn, they have basically played a high school season now at this point in the season. 23 games. Great fake, but there's Adrian who's playing a terrific game to block another one. Back to Adrian for the stuff. Boy, Adrian doing it on both ends. Well, he's not a real vocal leader, but his actions are speaking volumes tonight. He was sensational in the first half. This time he sets up an easy deucing side with the block on the other end. Quick inbounds, Austria outside. Under eight minutes, here's Adrian. Yes, it rattles in. He has had a big night. Yeah, he's provided great leadership. I tell you, he's double-double 17 and 12, but it's been in the big spot. Face down Austria into the double team. Five on the shot clock. Price got airborne. Great pass there to Adrian to finish it. In a kind of a snowy day here in Connecticut. Great to have you along. The first bounce inside for Adrian. That could be a story developing. Any offense you get from him, that's really gravy. Adrian at the foul line. Nice touch. Jeff Adrian. He's averaging 14 and 9. He Club. Wiggins in for the Huskies, getting a handle on this one. Nice pass and an easy finish for Adrian and the foul as well. At six now for Jeff Adrian. It didn't touch any iron. Wiggins, too strong. The catch by Adrian and he lays it in. It had the effect of an alley oop. Ricky's had a chance to win it at the buzzer. The flip inside, Adrian for the stuff. Over the wall for two. It is saying, get into your offense. No rope of dope out there. Just get into your offense. Solid pass. That is pretty. The bounce now for Adrian. He wants to go in strong. And that one will roll off. Back up. He stayed right with it. Jackets. Always played big. And also 13 rebounds, six blocks. The follow by Adrian is there. He's been another go to man. Stone. Now a little man to man. But in the second half, it's been all man to man. And they've been good at it. And Jeff Adrian gets loose for two there. But UConn, Notre Dame, whoever wins is in pretty good shape. Right, Andy Katz? Take that bucket there by Jeff Adrian. But glue guys. He just does a lot of little things great for your team, but nothing outstanding. Yeah, absolutely. Steve Lavin called him a WD-40 guy. Everything goes smoother when he's on the court. Adrian finally knocks down a perimeter jumper. Jeff Adrian on the elbow. He knocks it down. That's a two ball. Adrian comes in averaging about 15 and 9. Two, that he had a life-threatening condition. That AVM <laughs> inside. Bucket by Adrian. So he didn't break the national team. Howard. Big guy. Rejected. This time it's Adrian. There's nine NBA scouts and GMs have to be uh, liking what they see in Gransbury today. Oh, by all means. Liking what they see in a lot of guys. And plus that guy there making those, those passes. Adrian gets the bucket that uh, Blaney took over the team and coached the entire game. Wide open, coming off. Doesn't go. Wiggins, the smallest guy on the court, gets the rebound, and Adrian is the recipient of the assist. Talk about another guy that knows where the, has a nose for the basketball. He's always around the ball, Jeff Adrian.
Has scored only 68 points this season. Inside, Coswell, 33rd block for Adrian. You've got Dar Tucker coming in. Nice job by the bench, folks. First lead of the night for the Blue Demons. How long will it last as Adrian puts UConn back on top? He is second in the Big East in that category. There's another block shot for the Huskies. Flat, Burns heats up, but he can score in bunches. Price in traffic. Offensive rebound, Adrian, to end the run to Robinson. There's just no flow to the UConn offense. Adrian from the high post gets the friendly rim. Who knows right now? A lot of time left in this game, but Connecticut's got to get after it with intensity. Well, how about that? Was that intense? Yeah. There's three threes tonight. Koshwal hit the top of the backboard off the 13th ranked team in the country. And Connecticut's been in a lot of these games of late. Syracuse, Louisville, USF. Nice look. Adrian, how did Adrian get so free? Penetration. Here's Clark. He's got three threes. And Adrian blocked a three. Boy, you don't see that happen very often. Wow. You don't see a three-point attempt get rejected. <laughs> Entry pass to Adrian, and he gets his first field goal of the game. So both he and Thabit coming along for two tonight. Memphis and Tennessee at 9 Eastern on ESPN. Down low to Adrian, one on four, and Adrian's able to score. And how about Jeff Adrian with the, the shot? Reynolds was moving to his left on that shot attempt. Adrian down low after a terrific pass by Doug Wiggins. And now Adrian, who did not have a field goal in the first half, all of a sudden has nine points. Large part has to do with team cohesiveness, judgment, and big time players making big plays under pressure, just like Jeff Adrian right there. Get better opportunities to attack the rim. Adrian got possession on Cunningham, and he scores. It's not going to happen. Rice inside. The beat had it knocked away, kept alive by Robinson, and then Adrian hits, giving the Huskies a one-point edge. UConn, you're going to have to make sure you can get that ball in to the postman in the right hand in the right position. Strong move, Dickie, underneath by Jeff Adrian. Towns for UConn. Yeah, well, we knew at the beginning that rebounding was going to be something that the Rutgers had to really focus on. He played well as a freshman, got some freshman of the week awards. He's been kind of slow lately, haven't heard much from him. With a lot of confidence right now, knocking down shots. First block today, fourth to beat. As Adrian answers the other end. Rutgers trailing by eight. Chandler found the lane and is rejected by Adrian. The sixth block shot for the Huskies. Chandler coming in there with the big fellas. This is when I need you as a point guard to draw the big guy and dish it off to your big guy that's wide open. By Price. Robinson. Austin. Inman battling. Adrian took it away and hits. The hills of UConn. So these last three games are going to be important. Jeff Adrian now with 20. 10 on the shot clock. And Adrian continues to show the nice touch. He now has a Big East career high 22 points. Shot clock down to seven. Austri for Adrian and Adrian has tied his career high. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Price dishing off for Adrian. 27 points, 11 rebounds, and Adrian takes it right to the rack. Oh, he's so strong inside, isn't he? Take over a game on a defensive end. Sometimes his, his points, you can call them bonus points, because you don't even expect them. Alexander up by the rim. Adrian knocks it out of bounds this time. Recognition on the perimeter, able to move that ball around to the open man. Price comes right back. Oh, some big guys around the rim for UConn. That time it's Jeff Adrian. Not that time. Robinson looking for Adrian. Found him. Gets the bucket. Is that enough for him? I don't think so. I mean, if you're going to go on the road and try and pull out a big wing. Nice. The flush by number four, Jeff Adrian. He's got a dozen. Three of Providence's practice. Making sure you rebound the basketball against a Connecticut team that's number one in the league in rebound margin. Adrian with a sweet fall away. Double team. Price, quick dish. There's Adrian with a finish. Adrian, one of the top rebounders around. First half here from the dunk. Austria will launch. That's around and up, but how about Adrian? One hand.
intended to stuff it down. Well, hard to believe that a year ago, Jeff Adrian wanted to be a finesse player. Coach Calhoun said, uh-uh, son, your job right here, authority. How about that finish? There's no finesse in that body. Providence up by nine. Time running out on UConn. Avery lays it high off the window for two. The shot Bishop is definitely going to bring some good energy for this team. Adrian with the one-handed dunk. Good pass from Dyson. Open Adrian. Good looking stroke from Jeff Adrian. Championships that can fight through it. Well, UConn has lost four straight. Price to three. No good. Adrian there for the easy putback. That he has certainly put his stamp on college basketball. Adrian underneath the two off the glass. Nice pass inside to Adrian. Gets the two. Gee, with that bounce, how he elevates over guys. Sykes, and that block, Adrian. Adrian, another first team All Big East player. So strong inside at 6 7. In his fifth game after returning from a nine game suspension. Dyson was suspended in late January for violation of team rules. Adrian got the bounce, but you have a greater chance of being first team all Big East in this conference. Adrian scores in the middle of the lane. Health concerns. He bounced back from the life threatening bleeding in his brain. Rapidly evaporating. He almost had to use another. Now it's the shot clock that's expiring. Adrian the block. They the lead is eight. The Huskies in a hurry. Adrian drops it in. Big sophomore out of the state of Alabama. Be a real wild card player in this tournament. There's the inside pass and an easy deuce for Jeff Adrian. There's a high lob. Well done. Sabid actually pinned his man, which made the alley oop easy to Jeff Adrian. And the freshman from Alta, California, number three in the. Dark blue, as you see Jeff Adrian make a nice drop step maneuver down low. Everything working for him, five of six in this game. Well, he's made his last five. He missed the first one. Adrian, strong move down low. Fostering working on Jermaine Johnson, gives it up to Adrian. Feathery touch from downtown. Jeff Adrian with the Toreros. Adrian. That's where you want it, right? Absolutely. I mean, Only got one out of two. So a chance to tie with a two, win with a three. Dyson all the way to the rack. Adrian the follow, and we're tied. Timeout, Connecticut.